up you guys so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this cool rotating transition effect in Premiere Pro so let's get started with the video so you're gonna need two clips that one has to be on a tripod but both of them have like the same ground I guess so like it could be the road two clips of the road like how Andreas did it um but in my case it's like two clips of the grass so as you can see it's easy to blend in both clips you can also do this with the sky actually but yeah you kind of want something that has like two things that can easily be blended in. So I have my two clips right here and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to search up my six screens preset in effects and I'll leave a link in the description where you can download this preset. It's totally free so yeah. So as you can see what pops up is like a bunch of different frames of me I guess. To scale it back into the regular clip we'd scale it to 300 but for this one we're going to scale it even more and this is why 4k video will work better because then the quality won't be lost if you're exporting in 1080p. But anyways, you want to just scale it up to 370. So Okay, so next we're just going to keyframe the rotation. So let's press the keyframe button a little bit before the clip ends. And then you can go to the end of the clip and change that to negative 180. And if you want this effect to go kind of slowly, you can uh, bring out the keyframes a little bit wider. But yeah, I kind of like how slow this is going. Okay, now let's go to our second clip. And we're just going to drag it over to overlap our first clip. And we're gonna drag this right where it is 90 negative 90 degrees, I guess. So you wanna bring that right there. And then what we're gonna do with our second clip is we're gonna adjust the rotation to be about 90 degrees so that it kinda matches the other clip. Okay, now you wanna go to the position and just drag it so that the grass lines up with the other grass. And then we're gonna go up to the scale and just scale it up to 150, just like how we kinda scaled the other clip. Um, so yeah, you're going to lose a little bit of quality if you're not shooting in 4K, but yeah. And then we're going to press the keyframe button for position and rotation in the beginning of the clip. And then go a couple frames forward and we're just going to press the two refresh buttons so they go back to normal. So basically, both of them just kind of rotate, but they're not matching each other. So we're going to go back to the first clip and we're going to need to adjust the position. Okay, so let's go to where we pressed the keyframe button for our rotation before. And let's go press the keyframe button for position this time. And then we're going to go forward to where we can kind of see that other clip's grass showing. So we're going to go forward and just adjust the position so that the grass kind of lines up with it. Okay, so that looks kind of good. So now if you watch it back, it kind of rotates a little bit better. And then we can go to the end of the clip so that we can match the ending too. So we're just going to drag that y-axis down so that we could see that grass again. And I'm going to leave a link to the description where you can download these files so that you can kind of learn how to do it yourself too. Okay, so if we go to the middle of where the transition is kind of happening, you can see that the clip, the second clip that's coming, you can see like the harsh uh, clip line. So we're just going to blend it in so it looks a little bit better. So let's go to our second clip. Let's change the fit to 25% instead. And we're going to go to the opacity and then press that rectangle tool and just drag it to the middle where the uh, clip ends, I guess. And then we're going to drag the endpoints so that it outlines all of the clip. And then we're going to just feather this a little bit. And we'll just bring that feathering up and then press inverted. So now it kind of feathers it and it looks a little bit more blended. Okay, so now if we watch it back, we have that whole transition going and it looks pretty good. And this is optional. You can also add directional blur onto an adjustment layer and then put it over the clip. Um, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. I just added it onto my clips because I don't really need to use an adjustment layer if I'm only doing this for a tutorial. So I put the blur length to about 7 and just made the direction to what looks good, which was like 87%. But that's totally optional. Honestly, I don't think it looks that much better with the blur. But yeah, so basically you're done. And then you, there's also little things you can do that will make it look better, like adding color grading. So I'm just going to add some blue rigid color and put on a LUT that's coming out this Friday. You know, just got to just gotta hype it up, I guess. Get you guys excited for the LUTs. So I'm just going to use FVS3. And yeah, so that's basically the whole tutorial. You can also add uh, easy in and ease out. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.